Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over how do we graph absolute value inequalities. So just like the last video about absolute value equations, the difference is instead of having an equal sign, we have a less than or greater than, or less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. So not only will we make the V-shape, we're also going to have to decide where to shade. So let's first think of this just as absolute value equation. It lies to me. I'm going to go left, 3, down, 5. 1, 2, 3, down, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, good. And then, by the way, what number is underneath the 2 if you don't see it? Rise over run. Always go to the right first. Up 2, rise over 1. Rise over run. Other side, rise over run. Rise over run. Okay, now, at this point, if this symbol does not have a line underneath, it means we cannot consider it as part of the solution set. And when we shade things, what we're really doing is shading where all the points that would make this a true statement. So I need to make a dotted line whenever you see no line underneath. So I need to make a dotted line. I'm going to do that first. Dot, 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 Okay, now, which part do we shade? If it's pointed like this, you shade downwards. So shade down. Everything less than it. Problem is done. Okay? Did you learn this freshman year? I don't know with pandemic if you had the chance. Okay. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to lie to me. So I'm going to go three to the left, and I'm going to go up two. If you see me make a mistake, please let me know. Now, I always go to the right. So negative one over two. Rise over run. Rise, but it's negative, over two. Rise over two. Other side. Rise over two. Rise over two. This time, I see a line underneath. When there's a line underneath, it is a solid line. And now, which way do I shade? If it has a greater than, whether it has this greater than or greater than equal to, that means shade above. <coughs> Anything that is shaded means it is a solution to this. The last two. Now I'm actually given, given a picture, even though they're ugly, and we need to come up with the equation. So first, think of it like an absolute value equation. Here is my point. It's like the vertex of a parabola. I went two to the right and one down. Okay, two to the right. It lies to me, and it tells the truth. Okay, now I always go to the right to figure out what we think of as the slope. Up one over one, up one over one. So I'm going to write one over one. You wouldn't have to write one over one. And now I need to put some type of an absolute value here. Well, it's dotted. We can see it's dotted. So I know I'm not going to have a line underneath. And I can see that we shaded above greater than. Done. Very last problem for today. Okay, I need to find this point. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. Lies to me and tells the truth. Two to the right and four up. Now I have to go to the do the rise over the run. Down three over one. Down three over one. Okay. Down three over one. And because it's a solid line, I know that the inequality symbol have a line underneath. And because it's shaded below, I know I will use this symbol.